Hey, good morning, Church on the Ridge. Molly and I here on Friday morning to encourage you and uh, let you know that Jesus loves you. Right, Molly? Oh, yeah, all right. Uh, let you know that Jesus loves you. And uh, I was here you know, yesterday. We looked at that story where James and John are trying to convince Jesus to let them sit on the right and the left in heaven. And he's, you know, he's telling them, he's like, look, that's not mine to give. But, you know, guys, it's obvious I'm here. So you can walk with me uh, if you want to. You can right or left. You want to walk with me. But, you know, do it now. Don't wait for heaven. And I hope you took that encouragement that you won't wait for heaven. You get close to Jesus. Walk with him. Don't wait till you get to the other side. Start now. Take the first 14 minutes of your day and allow him to be the center of your life, the center of your attention and follow him all the way. Uh, to where he wants to take you, which is a good place. He's always planned good for us. Well, the other disciples heard about what James and John had done, and they were indignant, the Bible says. Isn't that a good word, indignant? Uh, it's what you get when you're at the airport, and you're waiting in line there at the TSA, and it's all backed up, and somebody else kind of gets in front of, uh, you know, gets in the other line, not in front of you, in the other line, and it's going faster, and they kind of walk right on by you. And something is saying, hey, wait a minute, that's not fair. Hey, how come they get to go up? And that's indignant. Well, here's the deal. Jesus addressed it. He goes, guys, guys, what are you doing being indignant? Don't you know that the first will be last and last first? If you want to be great, you be a servant. In fact, the Son of Man did not come to be served. Did not come to let other, you know, to have other people let him first in line. He came to give his life, to serve and to give his life a ransom for every person. And so that's our calling today. Let's stop being indignant and let's let other people go first. Even allow other people to cut in line when it's kind of not really all that right. But you say, I'm not going to get indignant. I'm going to get angry over it. I'm going to be Jesus in this situation because why? He's right here on my right. He's right here on my left. You know, whichever side you decide you're going to walk with him on. I don't know. But he's right here with you. And we're not going to allow that anger to turn into this bitterness that says, I deserve my rights because they got something I didn't get. Just bless them for being blessed. Lord, thank you for blessing them. Thank you for letting them get ahead of me in line. And watch what happens. It'll change your day. It'll change your future. It'll change your outlook on everything. And it'll put Jesus first. Father, I thank you, God, that you've given us this ability to, God, take that indignation and turn it into something that's a blessing. You did it over and over and over again. Let me do it today. And Lord, let me once again walk alongside you. And I pray that my friends will have a great day. We rejoice in you. We love you, Jesus. Look forward to uh, being with my friends this weekend. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I love you, Church on the Ridge. We'll see you this weekend. Can't wait. Have a great day.